Hi, I'm Alistair from Genius Hub, one of the technical support team here. We thought it'd be a good idea to put together some videos for you to uh, help you design the Genius Hub. Um, we thought in this time when it was more difficult to get to people's properties, we'd put these together for our installers primarily, uh, but also be useful for customers as well. This means that we can go through and help you with uh, some of the design decisions that you'd have to make when installing the Genius Hub, just to make sure that you get exactly what you need for your home. The Genius Hub is a very modular system actually, so it's really ideal for lots of different types of property. Um, one of the things that it can cover is underfloor heating, uh, radiators, electric heating, lots of different types of heating uh, sources in your home. So this tutorial is just going to run through radiators, but we'll have other videos a lot on our website if you check, uh, which will cover other types of heating. So let's get started with designing a radiator system for our home. So let's start with a very simple system. Um, so this is a system uh, where we're controlling a combination boiler. So a combination boiler is the type of boiler that you might have in your home where when you turn on the hot tap, the boiler immediately fires up and that provides you with your hot water. So you don't have a stored hot water tank elsewhere in the uh, building or elsewhere in your home. You just have a combination boiler and every time you turn on the tap, uh, the boiler fires up. We put in what's called a single channel receiver, number one, that's on the left there. That wires directly into your boiler and that means that we can tell your boiler when to start and when to stop depending on when you've got call for heat from your radiators. Number two there is the Genius Hub. That will plug into your internet router. That will mean that you can have the app and that you can then control your heating from anywhere in the world. The last bit of kit that you would need for a basic setup like this would be your house thermostat. This would be installed probably in your hallway, maybe where your old thermostat used to be, and that measures the temperature in your, in your home. The next type of system that I'm going to show you here is where you've got stored hot water. So this means you've got a hot water tank, maybe in an airing cupboard, and you've got a boiler, which is either a system boiler or a heat only boiler, and that produces heat either for your radiators or for your hot water tank. When you have one of these types of boilers, we split the system in half, so you have a dual channel receiver. One dual channel receiver controls two what's called zone valves, which you can see down there at the bottom, and that directs the flow of water around different parts of your heating system. If you've got a stored hot water tank, then you can add on an extra bit of kit from Genius Hub, which I can show you there. This is called an electric switch. The electric switch can measure the temperature of the hot water tank. So it has a temperature probe that you put onto the hot water tank. That means you can now see the temperature on the app. Another neat feature which not many people know about with the electric switch is that can also control your electric immersion. So some people will have an electric immersion backup just in case your boiler was to fail and therefore you need to be able to get some hot water. Often the electric switch is also wired to that electric immersion backup. And that means that on the app, you can also control your hot water from the electric side, as well as also controlling it from the boiler side. Now, in most cases, Genius Hub customers like to be able to control individual rooms. That's why a lot of people will add rooms to their system. So let's get started now designing a system for our home. So if you go to our website, that's geniushub.co.uk, we've got some really useful tools on there that we've developed to make it easier for you to design a system. If you look along the top there, you can see you've got your home, your business, blog, shop and support. If you click just under the support, you can click on the user technical portal. Here we've got some checkers for you, so if you're not sure about whether or not your boiler is compatible with the Genius Hub, you can simply click on this link down here at the bottom and you can type in your boiler. So if I type in a Baxi boiler, you can see a list of all the different types of boilers that the Genius Hub is compatible with and even get manuals as well, so you can click on those manuals on the side just to check exactly how that would be installed. Likewise, you can also check the compatibility of your radiators. So if you want us to be able to control your radiator as well, you want the Genius Hub to have the smart radiator valves, you can also check that as well. So if I click on the check compatibility, let's see if it's compatible with a Honeywell radiator valve. There we are, we've got a few Honeywell valves that it's, are, are on the compatibility checker. If I want to see a photograph, because I'm not sure which one I've got, let's look at the VT200E, that's what that valve looks like. 
If I've got a valve that looks like that in my house, then I know it's compatible because I've got a tick there next to it. Also, we've got a compatibility checker for underfloor heating. So if you want to check the compatibility, if you've got an existing underfloor heating system, it's highly likely that the Genius Hub will be able to control that as well.